All right, this uh, last part is um, an example of how to calculate the inverse of a 3x3 three three matrix. Now, we already have the steps here. Uh, we first need to determine if the determinant is equal to zero or not. Then we determine the transpose matrix. We determine the adjoint matrix. And this is just a, a quick recap of what a cofactor is. So first step is calculating the determinant. And I have a zero here. So I'm going to use the first row to calculate the determinant. So the determinant of A is equal to 3 times plus 1 times the minor of A11, which is 2, 1, 4, 2. 2 sorry, 2 minus 1, 4, minus 2 minus 1, so, so plus 1 times minus 1 times whatever we have left if we remove the first column, second row, which is 5 minus 1, 1 minus 2. So 5 minus 1, 1 minus 2, plus 0 times something we don't have to calculate. So here we have minus 4, minus minus 4, so this yields um, 0. So 3 times 0, and this yields 5 times minus 2 is minus 10, minus 1 times minus 1, so it's minus minus 1 plus 1, so we get mi uh, minus 9 here, times the minus 1, plus 9, plus 0, is equal to 9. So the determinant of matrix A, and I know I've done this fairly quickly, but uh, see the previous videos to uh, learn more about that, is that we find that the determinant of A is equal to 9, and 9 is not equal to 0, so matrix A has an inverse, and we can continue with the steps. So first we find the transposed matrix, which we find by taking the first row and turning it into the first column. Second row, we turn into the second column. Third row, we turn into the third column, and we have matrix uh, the transpose matrix of A. Now, for every element in this matrix, I have to find its cofactor. And so we'll get a 3x3 three three matrix with all the cofactors. Uh, I'm going to wipe this. Will, I, will this fit? Well, let's see. The cofactor uses the, uh, the signs in this uh, grid and it uses the minors. So the cofactor of three, and I'll just do one here, the cofactor of three would be the sine plus one times the determinant, we remove first row, first column, two, four, minus one, minus two. Now, one of the, um, things that can be a bit tricky is, is when we calculate the determinant, we multiply them by the elements themselves. When we calculate the cofactor, um, we don't have these elements included. So when we take the inverse, um, resist the temptation to multiply this by three because we only want its cofactor. So only the sign times the determinant, not the element itself. So, um, we get a, let's see if we can do this, for 3 we knew it was plus 1 times the, deter uh, the determinant 2, 4, minus 1, minus 2. For the second element, we know we have a minus sign. The second element, we remove the first row, second column, 1, 4, 0, minus 2. 1, 4, 0, minus 2. For the third element, we have a plus sign. Plus 1 times, we remove the first row, third column, 1, 2, 0, minus 1. 1, 2, 0, minus 1. Uh, we move to the second row, which starts with the minus minus 1 times the determinant. Uh, we remove the second row, first column, we have 5, 1, minus 1, minus 2. 5, 1, minus 1, minus 2. Next element is a plus. And so we have this element, we remove this column, this row, 3, 1, 0, minus 2. 
3, 1, 0, minus 2. The third element has a minus sign, so minus 1 times the 2 by 2 determinant. When we remove this row, this column, 3, 5, 0, minus 1, 3, 5, 0, minus 1. And um, I'll just remove this. <clears throat> the third row, so 0, the cofactor of 0 is, uh, it has a plus sign, plus 1 times, well, remove this column, this row, I left with 5, 1, 2, 4, 5, 1, 2, 4. And the second uh, element of the third row, which has a minus sign, minus 1 times, uh, remove this row, this column, so 3, 1, 1, 4. And the final one has a plus sign, and we are left with, remove this column, that row, 3, 5, 1, 2. And so these are the elements of the adjoined matrix. So this matrix with three times three elements is the adjoined matrix of A. Now, uh, it doesn't quite look like it, uh, but we can calculate these. For example, this uh, determinant here equals uh, 2 times minus 2 minus 4 times minus 1. So it happens to be uh, 0. Uh, 0. This one is uh, 1 times minus 1 minus 0 times 4, so it's minus 2 times minus 1 is equal to 2. This determinant, well, the 2 by 2 determinants are something you can calculate. I will just write the matrix out so you can check. Minus 6, 3, 18, minus 11, and 1. So this is the adjoined matrix. The inverse matrix of A is then 1 over 9 times this matrix 0, 2, minus 1, 9, minus 6, 3, 18, minus 11, and 1. And if you want, you can multiply all these elements by 1 over 9, but it's, for now it's easier to just uh, leave it as is. So to determine the inverse of a matrix, first we calculated its determinant. We found it is not equal to zero, so we can calculate the inverse. Next step is to uh, create the transpose of a matrix. And for each element, we determine its cofactor. And remember, its cofactor is minus one or plus one times its minor. And the minor is a two by two determinant of the elements left if we remove uh, the row and column, and, uh, column of the element. That means we get nine two by two determinants with pluses and minuses arranged in this grid. Uh, we can calculate two by two determinants and we get the adjoint matrix and from the, so that is step two, and from the adjoint matrix we can calculate the inverse by multiplying the adjoint matrix by one over the determinant and we have the inverse of the matrix. It is a fairly lengthy calculation, but the inverse of a matrix in linear algebra is a very important concept and this is, well, one of several ways to do it. This concludes the theory for uh, week three. And, um, and yeah, from this and the theory in the book and the two videos I'll link somewhere, um, you can continue on with the exercises.